Welcome back to Harrelson and uh, today I'm going to be building a trumpet. So this is going to be another shop tour. Uh, I believe this is part four. And I want to show you what we're working on on the lathe. So you can see me cutting uh, a new limited edition series that'll come out probably in like four months. It's quite a ways away. But I also want to show you what I'm working on here at my bench uh, because I'm cleaning up a lot of uh, parts that we've had sitting here over the years and you can see I've got tons of different trim parts so I've got acoustic armor in black and in gold um, some are matte some are gloss and uh, acoustic armor is uh, basically a two-part baked on epoxy that we mix metallic and ceramic um, materials into so it's kind of a proprietary thing but we can do interesting colors as well uh, these ones are all black and some of them are black and gold and some are just brass. Um, but these are all components that I have that are going to become either custom X-series horns, so experimental stuff, or even some garage sale horns. And as you can see, some of this stuff um, is slightly defective. So garage sale horns, it is for all this defective stuff. Uh, there might be some thin spots in some of these, or the finishing just wasn't done right because we had apprentices in here and we'll clean them up and make them look really nice but they're not going to be perfect some of them are perfect as you can see these up here are absolutely perfect they're just uh different uh tune-in slides that were made for other reasons and i want to show you the really custom engraving that i'm working on because it's it's just a ton of fun i think you guys will probably find it very interesting and uh, for those of you who don't know i've made custom pocket knives uh, for many years. Um, actually, I've made those almost as long as I've made trumpets. So my first knife was probably maybe the second or third year I was building trumpets. Um, so I'm doing a lot of this also to work on the custom knife side of things, even though, guy, even though you guys never see that. Um, so here we have a bunch of drawn lead pipes, different sizes. Some of these are the original masters. So this is uh, the number four master copy. That's the original master number four lead pipe, I'm gonna sell it. Um, there's the original master number one and the number five. I think I have the 11, oh yeah, there's the 11 too. So those are gonna go, check these out. Now these are going to be for the X47, which uh, basically has a hexagonal theme to it. Somebody said, oh yeah, those look like soccer balls. I agree, that looks a lot like a soccer ball but it's actually a hex theme and you'll see it through the bracing and other places as well. So I think that is going to be very cool and a lot of fun. Um, and let's just head over to the laser area so you can see what's on the laser right now. And uh, then we'll go over to the machine shop. Okay. The laser is running right now. Let me turn one of these fans off. It's pretty noisy in here. So you can see it's working right now. Let's look in there and see what it looks like. So let me pause the machine. Uh, let's push pause on that. And it'll take a second to finish up. And we'll see how these are looking. This is a circuitry design. So uh, essentially, I just have created what will look like a lot of uh, circuits. It's doing 50 passes, so it's got to finish those 50 passes before we can look inside. That's what it looks like right now. It looks all burnt and scarred. Kind of a mess. But when it's all done, it'll look more like this. And these haven't been cleaned up. So you can see it's a circuit, uh, like a circuit board. And once it's cleaned up, it'll be very, very fine details. So. Let's close that up and let that fiber laser continue to run. Once those are done, I have to flip them over and do the other side. Uh, I do have some right here at my desk that are finished. And let's zoom in on those. So now, depending on the light, these look really, really amazing. Now look, it's really bright here. It doesn't look that great. It's just too bright. So let's put them under here. Let's see if it's going to show. Yeah, you can start to see them if I could get it to focus. Yeah, so they look like circuits. Let's get one of these bottom caps. 
under the table. Yeah, see how it's little circuits? There we go. And it really is a matter of the lighting. The depth of these is uh, probably, I think it's around 10 to 15 thousandths, so it's actually pretty deep. You can see on the sides how far it bled over. Um, it's pretty deep engraving, but it's also very thin. Let's grab one more so you can see a different variation. Yeah, see it looks like circuits. Um, and then I also, yesterday I finished uh, a set of finger rings for that hex horn, the X47. And the circuitry trumpet will be X48. So those will probably go up on the website in the next couple weeks. But I did the finger rings and I also did the bracing for that one as well. Which I think turned out really, really nice. And once that's finished, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Okay. Let's go over to the machine shop and I'll show you what I'm machining. Okay, so you can see I've machined a lot of stuff recently. Uh, these are custom bottom caps, and I've got them in two different sizes. You can see there's a recess in the bottom of them, and that's the uh, heavier one, this is the lighter one. That's for a limited edition series of summits that I can't really tell you about yet. And then this is another one, another set of limited edition summits, and this is a bottom cap. And the one we're cutting right now it's the lighter version, it looks like this. So we're gonna see that cut in the CNC lathe right here. So let me set this camera up and I'll let you uh, see how this is done. So first thing we need to do is get that piece of stock out of there. So take that out and toss it in the bin. I'm just finishing up using remnants. So I've got some remnants that are just too short for some projects, but they're just fine for this one. So we'll put one of those in here. And then we'll watch it run. Let me get my safety glasses on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna close the door for the first cut because that is a short piece and something could go wrong. We'll get up close. There we go. There it goes. So that was the thread relief. Next is the threading, which the tool is hidden behind these other tools so you don't get to see that one. And now we're gonna do uh, a pre-finishing on the back side. This is essentially just making sure it's really smooth and ready for a finishing pass. And that finishing pass will happen on the substance. So this is the parting tool or the cutoff tool. All right, and there's that finishing on the, the finishing pass on the face. It's got a really nice finish now. We're gonna do a chamfer in the center hole. That's done. And now we're going to do a little face groove. And there it's done. So now this part is finished. And now I just need to find the part, which I think is right down here. Oh, there it is. See it over here? So that is what the finished part looks like. And this is a bottom cap for a limited edition series of summit trumpets that I technically am not going to, I'm not supposed to reveal 
uh, any more information than that because we want that to be a surprise for you guys. It'll probably come out, I'm guessing in September or October. It's gonna be part of the Summit G4 series. Let me shut this out. Um, and the G4 series is a series of summits that is the most technologically advanced. So uh, the technology that we use to make our spinning tops right now is really the highest end technology that uh, aerospace companies are using. <clears throat> Excuse me. So <clears throat> we're basically using uh, field-driven uh, field driven design, which allows us to tell the software that we want strength and stability and basically standing wave efficiency for us in the instrument in specific places. And then the software can guide us to using the right kind of lattice and structure network and shape to create the right bracing or bell uh, design or thickness. Uh, essentially, it's very, very advanced software combined with very advanced manufacturing techniques, some of which are CNC machines and some of which are additive manufacturing, which means we're laser centering um, the, the, the components out of metal powder. So you'll see all that stuff come about, but these spinning tops are made with that software and that process. And they combine the CNC machining with the, um, the additive manufacturing techniques, which start with metal powder. And uh, these are very, very advanced techniques that are essentially used for rocket engines, um, for aerospace applications for military, and also for medical, and, and sometimes for automotive, but not very often. Um, really, the, the majority of the automotive applications are in the like multi-million dollar one-off or limited edition cars or for F1 racing. Um, so you can look that stuff up and see it, but it's, it's extremely advanced. Also, it's extremely expensive to do, but it's a lot of fun for us, and we're gonna be producing the G4 Series Summit which is the fourth generation. So G4 means generation four, and G4 is where we finally get to use all this topology and uh, field-driven design software with the latest uh, additive manufacturing. And we're literally talking about billions of dollars of research and development has gone into this industry to allow us to create trumpets for you. So we're kind of leaning on billions of dollars of research and development from the aerospace and manufacturing um, industries. Uh, you can thank companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin and NASA and you know government agencies for the ability for us to be able to use this software. Um, and with that said, um, there's even like an approval process even to get to use it, uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, you guys are gonna have so much fun once you see these horns. And if you're interested in uh, even holding a piece of this, I will be launching these spinning tops on Kickstarter probably next week. I've been putting it off for a couple months for various reasons, uh, essentially because I had to focus on some uh, some trumpet business, you know, some trumpet stuff, getting the rumors and dreams ready. But these are going to start at uh, probably like around thirty-five to forty-five dollars each, and they'll go up in price based on the material. So like this one's made out of aluminum and brass and you're never going to hold anything like this um, any other place because we're literally like releasing products probably 20 years ahead of the market i mean it's hard to predict how far ahead we are but we're a long ways ahead uh, this is titanium and brass so that is literally one solid single piece of titanium with brass insets that were uh, pressed in and you can see i uh, cnc machined the little stands and uh, you can buy the little stand for your top. But these are so fun because they really, um, they show off what you can do with this software and with, of course, this technology, which is extremely advanced. I showed some of these tops to one of the, um, one of my support uh, members at the company that designs and, and engineers the software, and they were blown away by what we made with their software. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty cool, it's a lot of fun. So here's another one out of titanium. 
And uh, okay, I could go on and on about that forever. So that's kind of what I'm working on today. Um, I'll show you a couple other things before we go because you know me, I, I just have a lot of things going on, a lot of projects going on. And I wanna show you one of the, the more interesting projects I'm finally gonna get to in the next few weeks. I've <laughs> been putting this off uh, just because of production. I haven't had time to work on it. This is our new robot arm. And it doesn't look like much right now. Oh, that's heavy. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay, there it is. This is a robot arm. And this arm is going to allow us to load and unload the machine automatically. So we have a special vise that can open and close based on input from the robot and from our program. And essentially, we're gonna start with that machine in the back there in the corner, that's the Herco. And that VMC allows us to machine things in three axes. So we're going to probably start with either braces or top caps or bottom caps. And we're going to be loading them into the machine with this robot, into a vise. It'll do all the machining work. When it's done, it'll take it out, put it in a bin, grab a new one, put it back in, and run it again. And our goal is to run day and night um, on some projects because otherwise, we're literally loading those ourselves. And Jen and I really have too much to do to stand in front of a machine and reload a part every seven to 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's the idea with the robot. I can't wait to set it up. I will do videos showing you how I integrate it and you know the whole process. You can see it has a little gripper arm, which uh, would fit on the end. And it also has a little suction cup which we will probably use for some of our products as well. It uses a little vacuum suction cup. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you're having a great June. Remember, uh, the summertime is the perfect time to visit Harrelson. We do have our open house week, uh, the reservation week in July. If you're not sure about that, go to our website. It's whyharrelson.com, whyharrelson.com. And um, <clears throat> you can click on um, you can click on clients, uh, and then, um, I should remember where this is. I'm going to look it up on the screen so we can see it because I always tell people the link and it's always a little bit off. So let's get to the right page. Um, let me see here and get off of this. So on our website, you can go to Advantage, and then News. Okay, so this is this is the actual link. I'll get it right this time. It's Advantage News Clinics and Tours. That's probably the easiest way to find out when we have clinics and tours. And if I scroll down here, you can see the next reservation week is going to be July 11th through the 14th. And that would be the best time to visit if you want to um, be here when we're specifically set up to work with customers. But if you're visiting Denver anytime between now and the end of October, then you can get a private tour as long as you call us ahead of time uh, or email us at harrelsontrumpets at gmail.com. And we will give you a private tour. You can test trumpets. There are several unadvertised trumpets here at Harrelson Trumpets that, um, that nobody knows about unless you walk in. So sometimes we have a garage sale horn that might be $2,500, brand new. Um, and that's because it uses parts that were slightly defective. Sometimes we'll have an X-Series trumpet on sale that might be like $500 off. So if you want the really good deals, you should probably walk in and check things out. Also, our higher end horns, like the Summit line and the Muse line, they usually sell out within hours of when they're released. And that's because um, <clears throat> there's a lot of demand and there's only a few of us, you know, so we can't make, you know, thousands of horns. We can only make around a hundred a year. Uh, for instance, I think on Saturday, I released the latest Summit Trumpet. Um, it's the G series. So the, the series before the one I was just telling you about. Um, it's our latest series. And that trumpet uh, went up for sale, I think at like 10 in the morning and by noon it was sold. So... If you want to see that stuff before it gets listed and promoted and you come into the showroom, you might see that we have a summit in stock that hasn't been listed. 
I know when we list them, they're going to sell. So if you're looking for a horn and you, you think, oh man, I always miss out, just come visit us. Um, and if you let me know what you're looking for ahead of time, I might be able to even hold off on advertising some things because th we don't have an issue selling our horns. They sell very easily. Um, but I definitely want to make sure that you get the experience you're looking for. So if you're like, hey, I really want a silver lead summit trumpet, then you should tell me in advance so I can have one possibly sitting here for you to play and maybe even buy. Um, all right, so yeah, feel free to visit us in Denver. If you want um, ideas for places to stay in the Denver area, we have recommendations. There's a hotel we recommend that's not far from here. If you're going to go up in the mountains, you want an easy hike or a hard hike, or you want to explore all there is to do, just ask me or Jen or Christine, and we can all help you um, with recommendations. There's great museums here, great jazz clubs. We have an actual orchestra here in Denver, and um, there's a lot going on all the time, especially in the summer. And uh, it's a great place to visit, and I'd love to give you a tour and um, and show you how we build our horns. So thank you again for visiting, or for, I guess, visiting virtually. Um, I love doing these virtual tours, and we're gonna dive deep and deep and deep. We're going to keep getting deeper into everything we do in these tours because I want you guys to see it. I know some of you are in Romania or you're in Africa or Japan um, or Australia and I want you guys to be able to see this too even if you can't visit us here in Denver, Colorado. So thank you again. I'll see you guys next time.